I think the message that the harm from climate change will be so ubiquitous and so devastating is underappreciated. Uh, and I think there's re lots of reasons for that, but I think one of the responses when you sort of think about it this way is to recoil and to say, I'm just going to go to work today and I'm just not going to think about it, right? I, it's an understandable response. A pretty consistent 75% of the country agrees that climate change is occurring and that human are involved. That's the reason, I mean, anthropogenic. But it's not salient. It seems like down the line, that's sort of a century away. We see climate change as a major challenge to development. Uh, the OECD estimates are that carbon emissions will more than double from 1990 levels by 2050, which uh, will put uh, rather hard-won development gains at risk and introduces a lot more complexity to our work as development actors. Even without climate change, even without the forcing of climate, it would still be a challenge to provide food, water and energy to two billion other people. But with climate change, that challenge is amplified, it is magnified, because that is what climate change does. Climate change eats at the underpinnings of society. We've built this structure on a set of bedrock assumptions that are no longer good. So we should no longer, we can't just simply assume the structure will continue to stand if the underpinnings are no good. Don't count on your political leaders to initiate this process. Uh, it's going to require engagement from a lot more people. First step um, in this situation is that we need to develop a monitoring system worthy of the problem. Um, we are not monitoring the details uh, of climate change and social change associated with that in anything like the precision that would be required to understand them. Heroic emissions reduction by Western countries alone won't solve the problem. <laughs> it, it needs action much faster in the emerging economies as well. What we need is action, and the action we really need is government action. Climate change is ultimately a choice. And it is a choice because the future that we're going to have tomorrow depends on every single decision and every single choice that we are making today.